Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation with Citra, and this is a pretty big update. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off with arguably the biggest news of the night, 3DS emulation with Citra and Vulcan. So in Citra Canary 2485, which just released, they've added the Vulcan back end. They say here a whole new graphics API available in Citra. And on top of that, support for macOS devices is now back. If you are using a macOS device, please update to the latest Canary build to use all of the new features added to Citra in the past months, including Vulkan. It improves performance on multiple devices, especially older AMD GPUs and Mali GPUs on mobile devices where the performance has more than doubled. That's right, more than double the performance now. It improves shader stutter when using Vulkan. Games will no longer stutter as heavily when translating new shaders. So to pick up the latest and greatest version of Citra, head to citra-emu.org and click on download. From here, scroll down and click manual download. And then click on the latest version of Canary for your platform of choice. And yes, you can see macOS on here. This is absolutely incredible, and if you're using Citra on Android, you might want to check out the latest Canary build. On a quick side note here, for those of you wondering the difference between Canary and Nightly, first and foremost, Canary stands for subscribe to Mr. Sujano, but so does Nightly. At a really high level here, the Canary build is a more experimental version than the Nightly build. Once things have been tested out and things are okay, generally they make their way over to the Nightly build. So at this point in time, the Canary one should be A-OK -okay to test out Vulkan. Now, for those of you currently using the performance-based fork of Citra, Citra MMJ, you might want to pick up the Canary version of Citra and see how it compares. You might be surprised. In my opinion, the 3DS development team has just breathed a whole bunch of new life into emulation, so massive hat tips go out to them. Moving on, and we're talking about multi-system emulator Ares, and for those who may not be aware, Ares is a cross-platform open source multi-system emulator focusing on accuracy and preservation and they just updated their compatibility list if you are curious about this one i'll drop a link to the compatibility list in the description below and feel free to check it out it's well organized easy to navigate and very informative and there's quite a bit of games on here that have been tested and it's only going to grow moving on and we're quickly talking about microsoft and activision blizzard and today microsoft just had a major victory the European Commission clears acquisition of Activision Blizzard by Microsoft, subject to conditions. So the UK declined the deal, the EU has approved it, and now we're just waiting on the US. And interestingly enough here, the conditions of the European Commission's approval are pretty good for the end gamer. They say Microsoft Activision Blizzard must provide a free license to consumers in the EEA that would allow them to stream via any cloud game streaming services of their choice all current and future Activision Blizzard PC and console games for which they have a license, and a corresponding free license to cloud game streaming service providers to allow EEA-based gamers to stream any Activision Blizzard PC and console games. So basically, you buy it once and you can stream it pretty much anywhere. And last up here, we're talking about Atari Jaguar and Jaguar CD emulation with Big P Emu. And Rich Whitehouse, the developer of Big P Emu, says more dark arts in Big P Emu. This is Cybermorph rendering natively at 1080p, no upscaling composited correctly with the original HUD. This is done with only 150 lines of code through the upcoming scripting system. Still working out some kinks, but patrons can expect a treat soon. I'm really looking forward to this update, and let me know if you're excited about this one in the comments below. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state. <laughs>